This one's going to be on the KDE mouse gestures. It's actually built into your system, so just open up your uh, your settings here and go to shortcut and gestures. So the first thing here, this is usually where you put in, you know, your hotkeys, your custom one that you want to do. But you can actually do um, mouse gestures also. Uh, the first thing you want to do, okay, if it's not enabled already, click on settings and make sure this one is checked uh, so you can use your gestures. And the button that I would recommend is using button 3. That's your right button. And that's the thing that you're going to use to draw uh, your gestures, okay. Uh, so after that is enabled, well, we're going to make a new one. So let's say new. They give you a few different ones here in the mouse gestures actions. So command and URL. I'm assuming the URL part is, um, you know, your your browser, okay. But here you go. I type this as the commands and the comments. You can type in whatever you want uh, for your memory, I guess. And the actions. So here are the commands. Uh, usually people use this to launch an application. So for our example, we're gonna do like VLC, all right. Uh, and in the trigger, let's say uh, I go to edit here. We're gonna draw it using our um, left mouse button, okay. And make sure it's in this little box here. So when you draw a V uh, for VLC, and then we hit apply. And now when we use our, uh, I'll call this the the gesture button, which is button three, which is our right mouse. Okay. Uh, we're gonna draw a V. And there you go. It opens VLC right like that, quick. Uh, so let's make another one uh, using a different thing here. You know, I don't really know what this D bus is. I'm assuming um, it's like for um, network stuff because this is remote. I don't really have an example for this one because I don't really have another computer to try. But if you use D bus, go ahead and give this a try. All right. Anyways, uh, let's go on to the last one. Mouse gestures, and I want to use uh, the keyboard input here. So basically, you're making a uh, a gestures for your hotkey, okay? So we'll call this keyboard. And for my example here, I'm gonna use. Uh, let's say I want to close uh, the terminal, okay? And the, the the way to close this is uh, Control Shift Q. So I'm gonna use that uh, for our example here. So on our action, so we're just gonna type in Control. Shift plus Q. Uh, right here, you can do some conditionings like, um, you know, you want this to, on the active window, specific window, or action windows. Um, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but uh, that's all you're gonna put in here is the high key, and then we go to trigger, and we're just gonna draw it again. I'm gonna draw like a ribbon here. There you go, and apply it. So now when I ever use uh, the console and I want to close it, I'm just going to draw the same shape and then it closes, right? So that's how you do those two, all right? Uh, another thing is if you had a group, you can actually do conditionings uh, to a specific application. So let's say I want all the browsers um, to use these hotkeys or these gestures, I mean. And to do that, you just make a new group and you know whatever uh, commands you want to use you can just put it under it like that right and then you have it under there and you can enable all of that but in here you can do conditioning so you have conditions on our, our uh, new group here uh, you can add some in uh, you know if you want so I'll, make sure, I'll give you an example of that I download this one so I'll show you this thing here so this is for the browser and you can see that the first thing it says and so you have uh, an here and they set it to a web browser but there's like more than one web browser so if you go to edit you'll see like oh this one will work with uh, Firefox uh, all the other you know web browsers so all these hotkeys under this uh, group will work with those uh, web browsers okay and in here they set in the uh, uh, conditions in here so let me give you an example of one let's say Firefox And if we go to edit here, we'll see that basically in the comment they have Firefox 
and the regular expressions that they want to use is uh, for the window class it's just Firefox so um, whenever you're using Firefox it'll try and look for that title I guess and um, it knows that this is the program that it applies to so that's how it does that and it does that for the other ones too like uh, Chromium right they have the same thing you know this is the important part of the regular expressions and you can give it a comment for a name if you want uh, so that's all that is and this is uh, this is Windows simple you know? uh, if you want this to be applied to other ones also so it says or here and then you have uh, file browsers and this is what uh, they did here with Dolphin right um, so all you gotta do is you know hit new and then you fill it out just like we did before and you see this is uh, comment and then the regular expression is Dolphin so it only applies to Dolphin or the web browsers that is in here so that's how you do the conditions um, so that's it for how you would set up manually they do have um, <clears throat> Let me see here. They do have like some lists online. If you go to kdlook.org and you search for some mouse gestures, which is this is where I got it this from right here. Um I got this from like kdlook.org. And what you want to do if you ever um download some of those is that you're going to import it. So we go import uh right here. And let me see here where's I kept it here. So they'll they'll come up with these um, you know dot uh, k hotkeys, and those applies to the gestures. So all you gotta do is import it in, uh, like I did here, um, and it'll load it here, and you can use it. So there's some people that actually makes uh, these gestures already for you, and if you want to get it, uh, if you want to use it or you know use it as an example, you can do that too. Uh, so that's it. That's mouse gestures. It's actually built in. It's a little bit more um, hassle to set it up than uh, easy strokes, but uh, I like the fact that it's already built into the system. Uh, really cool. Uh, so check that out if you want to do mouse gestures. Um, you know, really convenient. And let me show you some off here. So let's say I open some new stuff and I want to close it really quick, just like what I did with easy strokes, right? Anyways, mouse gestures, use it.